I was running a company, and uh, we were commiserating, we were complaining about raising venture capital and what a, how dysfunctional it was. I was probably with my fifth or sixth startup. We had raised a couple of rounds of funding from venture capital, and I uh, was pretty upset. Gotti happened to walk in my office <laughs> that the moment. day, yeah. the actual moment I found out that there was a problem with the funding. And I was really upset and I was ranting about how we really needed to find a way to improve how venture capital worked. And I thought that we needed to align the interests of the entrepreneurs with the venture people and I wondered whether we could find a way to make that work and also make money. And Gotti was listening the whole time and left my office, came back you know, a week later saying, I think I figured it out. <laughs> And I thought, and I thought, yeah, right. Well, I think we ultimately realized, you know, just you know, figured it out thing, uh, is that uh, the, the main reason that uh, there's so, such dysfunction for small companies raising big ventures is that incentives don't align. They, the big funds, they're betting on this massive home run. They do 30 deals in a fund. They all fail. Two of them make the fund. And the problem with that, of course, is that entrepreneurs don't have a portfolio of 30. They have a portfolio of one. And so for them, uh, you know, the, an intermediate, so-called intermediate exit when they sell a company for $200 million and they still own most of it, that's a big win. That doesn't work for the mainstream funds. They have to return a billion dollars. So we, we created a fund, we hope, that uh, where what's good for us is good for the entrepreneur and vice versa. Yeah, I think the general premise is if we do what's right by everyone, we're going to end up making a lot of money. Our mantra from the beginning was we wanted to be the investors we wish we had had. But most importantly, because we're investing at really early stage, we, we're a seed stage company, and so usually first money in. Um, that's a very unique situation that's really hard to learn unless you've actually been through the trenches yourself. We structured inspiration kind of like a startup. Startups, the founders, they don't pay themselves a big salary. They expect to make all their money when there's big liquidity. We're the same. We were willing to wait it out, and we were willing to defer you know, compensation and get compensated if we're successful. And I think that, that says it all right there.